growing up with two older brothers who are, who are really athletic, uh, really competitive, uh, it was awesome. We would always just go out in the backyard, sling a football around, play some mini baseball, doing something competitive together, and it, it always drove us to be better. We all threw shot put in high school. JJ broke my dad's record, the school record, uh, and then Derek came along and he claims he threw farther than JJ, but he didn't because uh, he scratched at the state finals, and I came along and I broke everyone's record, so that's, that's probably the biggest competitive thing that I have the edge on right now, but um, in general, we're just, we're just competitive in everything we do. More than anything, I, I think it's just showed me to have fun competing. We play with a nonstop motor because we love football. If that football is in play, we're going to find the ball and we're going to make the play. That dates back to my parents. They didn't have college degrees. They came out and my mom worked her way up from a banker all the way up to vice president at her independent inspections company. And my dad was a firefighter for 25 plus years. So we saw what hard work did for them and, and how successful they were over time. And I think it just showed us the blue collar mentality to come in, work our butts off. We weren't the big five-star recruits. We came in, we understood we weren't gonna play right away our freshman year. We, we, we trusted the process. And once we got in the field, we were, we were just so hungry to just show people what we could do. I have had two knee surgeries. Uh, I had patella subluxations of both my knees. And, and just trying to overcome that, as soon as I got one surgically repaired, I came back in spring ball. Uh, four months later and I had the other one torn so I was kind of in a bad place there because as soon as you fix one the other one kind of goes so then you got to get surgery on the other one and then I came over and I talked to coach he suggested playing defense because before I played tight end a lot of people don't know I've only played defense for 18 months uh, I switched last year in fall camp and I played a few games last year a few snaps and then this last year is my first year starting Kind of scratching the surface, I like to tell people of what I can do and what I'm capable of. It's a downer to go through two knee surgeries uh, that aren't great and it's not promising that you're going to come back 100%. It definitely made me stronger. It made me realize how much I love the game of football because it can be taken away at any point in time. TJ is a fun story because we've had his two other brothers come to a combine program here. TJ is just like them, hard worker, puts his nose in the ground and goes. He's got a lot of talent, but he doesn't take that for granted. And that's what, one thing that's gonna separate him. He keeps working like he's not gonna get drafted, you know, or like he just started playing football. Doesn't take anything that he has and he just runs with it. When it comes to understanding concepts and understanding where to line up, how to line up, wide side, strong side, he, he gets that. He, he's a really good, really, really good student of the game. So he picks up things very well. Really, really instinctive player. If he keeps working hard and, and learns the game on it from the NFL standpoint, some team will have themselves a great player. My draft day plan is just hanging out with my family. Uh, I don't want a big party, a big, big group of people over. I just want the people closest to me. Just real relaxed atmosphere and just hanging out, having a good time. It's going to be insane. I've seen it twice with my two brothers firsthand, and for this whole experience to be my turn, it's it's so surreal to me because I've wanted this for so long. To finally be my turn is, is incredible, and I think that day is going to be probably the best day of my life.